What's up, y'all? So this is going to be a video, so it's not RC-related at all. <laughs> but if you guys don't know, and you, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do, especially in the cars and stuff, Chevrolet has announced the new Corvette E-Ray, which is a four-wheel drive Corvette. And it's, um, of course, a C8 Corvette. Now, you guys know that I have a C7 Corvette. It's a 2019 Grand Sport. And I got it actually in 2020, and I got it brand new. I got it, you know, right off the lot and stuff. And I love my Corvette, and I don't plan on getting rid of it. But what I found interesting and cool was that um, looking at this E-Ray, they actually, and I know they do this with other cars too, but they let you design your own E-Ray. So I figured I'd go in here and start looking at this. And then, of course, the starting price, as you guys see there, is 102 9 and as shown, it's 115 so this is very tempting. I mean, a four-wheel drive Corvette, it does 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. And I think the quarter mile is a 10.9 or something. But it's a 10-second um, car, and that's stock out the box. Um, and there's some other specs and stuff that's for this vehicle. But there's tons of stuff on the Internet. Um, some people have actually got to test drive it and all that, so you guys can see that. But I figured I'd go in here and I would do this design because I do want to see... Um, if they have one in my color, I don't even know if they have it in the color that I want one in, which would be an orange. But I'm just going to take a second and kind of go through this. And here you guys go, right there. Uh, 2.5 seconds is a 10.5 quarter mile. So my bad on it. I know some people are in the comments like, you got it wrong. It's supposed to be 10.5, not 10.9. But whatever, 655 combined horsepower, all-wheel drive. I mean, it's, it, it's going to be a beast. I mean, I'm glad that Chevy has stepped their game up for this. But anyway... Um, I'll leave a link to the description in this here, but it just says design yours, and it goes over, of course, to this screen where um, I'm not sure how fast this is going to load up, but it lets you design um, your own Corvette. So I figured I'd go in here and play around with this to see, oh, and it's loading, look at that, 3%, 4%, okay, it got it. Of course, instructions on how to do it, blah, blah, blah. So there is like a base model of that. And I love my design, but that looks good, too. I mean, just thinking about an all-wheel drive Corvette is just something. Um, with this, I don't know of all the specifications you can change on this, but um, they have this view interior button where I'm pretty sure if you click there, if everything functions correctly, uh, it probably takes a second to load up. They'll let you view the interior of the vehicle. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So whether people get this or not, I think this is pretty cool that you can go in and do this um, with this. And, of course, it says roof. I'm pretty sure they – it's probably an option whether to get it with a convertible or not. It maybe has a picture with the roof on a roof not. And I'm tapping that button, and it's not working. So anyway, uh, let's go to customize, and let's see body styles. Okay, yeah, we got all that. So, of course, I want a coupe. So we'll stay with the coupe, design for that. Um, go back to customize, exterior colors. Now that's what I was concerned about. And they do have that amplified orange tint. Because I love orange. I like red too, but I like orange on those cars. Uh, the silver, white, you know, red, mist, metallic. That actually might be pretty cool too. Uh, torch red, black, uh, ceramic matrix gray, and hypersonic red. That's actually pretty interesting. But... If I was to move forward with this, definitely want um, an orange one. And I click back on view exterior. It should take me back to the outside of the car. Oh, yeah, that looks good. That looks nice. Oh, yeah. That looks good. We can only imagine, right? So I'm going to do a couple of things to customize this a little bit because it needs some black on it. The wheels need to be touched up on. I don't know if you have the option to change the color of the wheels. Let's see. Performance wheels. Dark gray metallic, which is already selected. They got red. Uh, of course, we want the orange there for that. And it probably takes it a second to load up. Yeah, it's taking it a second. There we go. Um, that may be looking better with the black on it. Instead of having orange and orange, I think that'd be better with black. And I don't know if they give you the option for that. I think the standard is, oh, we can do this dark gray metal. Let's see what that looks like. So like I said, I'm just playing around with this. I know it'd look better in black if they had a black on here. So what I'm going to do is go back, 
I wonder what the zero performance package is. Let's see what that does. Hmm. Well, definitely want black in there, so that's probably going to be an option at some point in time. But right now, we are just going to make this stand out, and we're going to make this red. It'll take it a second to load in to be red. There we go. Go back to Customize. Um, trim Levels. Uh, you got the 1LZ, 2LZ, and etc. So that's just extra made. This has got the 3LZ package on it, but whatever. We'll leave that where that's at. I want to work on exterior colors. I was trying to see about some of the trim designs around the vehicle. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm looking at this carbon fiber interior trim package level one. Stealth interior, <laughs> they got so many different packages. And y'all know this, every time I'm looking at this, I just hear cha-ching, cha-ching, that cash register going. Um... So we're going to leave that as it is, because even if I did move forward with this, I would probably look at it getting somewhat of a base model, but I would change up stuff just a little bit. So I'm curious on more of this exterior. There's the badges for it, which that's fine um, with that. I'm looking for, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Racing stripes. Or there we go. Ooh, look at this one. Um... Carbon Flash, Midnight, Silver, no. Red, no. Do they have it in black? So I was looking for something like this, but more in, instead of being red, I was looking for more of this in black. But we'll see how the that yellow looks on there. Probably not going to look good with yellow and orange like that. Give that a second. Let that load up. Mm, that doesn't look too bad, but I would want that more in black. But it still looks good, and it still kind of stands out. Uh, let's go back to exterior. And they got these other things and stuff going on here. Which is going to be good. Let's see what the silver looks like. See if that changes it up, makes it pop a little bit more. Uh, which it does. Um, there's probably going to be if this. This is just kind of basis for it, but I need to be able to change that spoiler to being black because that's going to stand out a little bit more. I'm pretty sure there's an option for that, and I probably may have missed it. Um, let's go back to exterior. Let's see if there's anything for that which I may have missed. There we go. Uh, we'll change that and see. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the look we're looking for. Yeah. Now, they don't give you the option or at least to change the color of the wheels. Because I think if this was going to be black, that would definitely look a lot better. These wheels on here. Uh, I didn't see the option for that. And I could have missed it. But it says wheels and performance. And they don't give you, oh, there, there it is right there, JT. So we see it. Um, yeah, that pearl nickel, I, I don't really like that. Carbon fiber wheel painted. Uh, we don't want the red stripe. Carbon flash or carbon fiber wheel. It's between the carbon fiber wheel painted or the carbon flash. I think this one will actually look better. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. So that looks a lot better. Oh, yeah. So if I did do this, that would be it right there. And yes, I would leave the red seats inside. I might make the seats black. Um, let's see if this roof button works. It puts the roof on there. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Take that roof off, though. Because, you know, if you get this, you got to drive with the roof off. So... So that looks good. I just wanted to show this to you guys because I thought this was so cool. This E-Ray um, is something else. I mean, we know the dealer markup is probably going to be crazy. So <clears throat> GM needs to go in and step in and talk to these dealers because the base model Stingray Corvette was supposed to be around $60,000 and they marked it up so freaking high. It's no wonder a lot of people didn't get it. Um, I think at $100,000, that was a lot for a base model C8 Corvette. I understand it's the first 
uh, so-called mid-engine Corvette, but that was still pretty high. But this right here at about 100000 plus, I'd say 120000 130, um, is actually pretty good and pretty decent. So so they let you uh, do this right here, and they let you actually, I think, take. I'm going to take a screen capture of this real quick. And it says next steps. I believe they let you save this, and you can send it over to the dealer too, which I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to go in. I'm pretty sure they want like $50,000 deposit or something like that. It's going to be something crazy if next steps work. I did see that. There we go. So it says download photos, share this vehicle, start over. We definitely don't locate a dealer. Explore E-Ray, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if this download functionality really works. I think I've tried it when I try to do something else on another app. Or actually going to somebody else's website, another um, company's website. No, it's not working. I've tapped it two or three times. So, so anyway, I wanted to show this to you guys. I thought this was actually pretty cool. Um... This right here. Let me get out of this real quick. It is a little slow <laughs> with response on stuff. There we go. All right, back to my car. So anyway, that's a look at if I was to pull the trigger, what I would do for one of these bad boys. So anyway, like I said, this is not RC related. I just wanted to show this to you guys. Link in the description if you guys want to go over and play this. I think it's pretty cool. Even if I don't move forward, it's good to see this and imagine and see myself in that seat i might take my head and put my head there or something and see myself in the seat riding one of these so you guys uh don't forget to like subscribe share this with your friends and stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching